Hi guys, welcome back to Ground Zero, where we serve out the juiciest discussion points in the world of citizen journalism. That's right, and it doesn't get any juicier than this as we show you the violent and ugly side of getting drunk in Singapore. I'm Clarissa and this is Sarah. Just last week, a drunk man was chased by a group of hostesses after he went berserk and broke the glass panel of a shop in Ling Arcade. Stomper Maggot recounted the incident and said, a drunk man who was pissed off about something or someone decided to show his macho side and punched FLVRZ store's glass panel, breaking it into pieces. But a few seconds later, he was chased by hostesses from the park next door who called out for help from the security guard of the building who cornered the drunk man. The Stomper's comments, Let's just say epic macho-ness failure. He even brought back home a souvenir of a busted knuckle. Well, bastard knuckle or not, I'll bet his ego is even more bruised by the incident. Just imagine a group of hostesses coming after you from behind after hitting a glass panel. What a sight! <laughs> Judging from the responses from the other stompers, they felt that he deserved it for causing such a scene. Stomper Kofi Nam wrote, Get drunk and make a nuisance of himself serves him right. They should have kicked him into the drain. Well, I'm not sure about kicking him into the drains, but it sure doesn't pay to go around punching the glass panels of shop fronts especially when you have hostesses who are good friends with the shop owner. It's all about anger management, people. <laughs> okay, if you're only mildly abused with a drunk man who was chased by hostesses, wait till you hear the next story. Stomper Jack spotted a man who used the lift lobby at People's Park Complex Food Centre as his toilet. The Stomper wrote, People, do come and see the most innovative toilet with, without a door, which is free for all and maybe for soon to be drunkards. According to the stomper, the toilet was too far away, so the man took a short stroll to the lift lobby and peed there. Most of the stompers were hovering between being amused or enraged by the incident, but stomper traffic analyst 66 was more forgiving and wrote, All people have weaker bladders, so they have to resort to this before they pee on their pants and make themselves a laughing stock. But think of all the people who are going to use the lift after that. Uh, I'm majorly grossed up by just thinking about it. Always keep this in mind, don't drink and drive and uh, don't drink and pee in public places. <laughs> I second that for sure. And speaking of driving, Stomper Benedict spotted a foreigner stone drunk and sleeping on the road inches besides cars going past him. Which is very true and not only does sleeping on the road look silly, it's extremely dangerous and anything could have happened to him. <sighs> it's a pity hearing stories like that. I mean, it makes you wonder why they had to resort to drinking and if they're doing alright. Well, keep your fingers crossed, Sarah, and hope for the best. In the meantime, let's try to get the chirpy mood back in here, shall we? Good idea. I think the next clip about Americans using Singlish to solve their first world communication problems might just do the trick. Stick with us and we'll be back in a jiffy.